is not as interested about using perfect people as he's interested as in using broken people. Oh, he wants you to become perfect, to grow up to the stature of Christ into maturity. But listen, he doesn't wait for you to be perfect to use you. In fact, it's in the use of you that you become perfect. He is not as much waiting to use perfect people as much as he's waiting to use broken people. Who's a broken person? A man or a woman who has come to the place of total dependence and reliance on God, on his mercy and his grace. Knowing that no matter what results come out of his life, the finger is pointed to God who is the doer. Have you ever struggled with mental health, depression, fear, marital pitfalls, physical health challenges, career challenges, indecision, other issues of life, or would you just like to strengthen your spirituality? Then join men and women across the globe, breaking the limits and soaring high on the global prophetic prayer altar with Apostle Goodhart's Obi Ikweme. Even in these challenging times, every weekday from 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. Greenwich Median Time plus one, and 12 noon to 1 p.m. Greenwich Median Time plus one. Available on internet radio at www.radio.rojic.org and on YouTube at GPPA TV, on Periscope at Goodhart's O Ikweme. On Instagram at Apostle Goodheart and on Facebook at Apostle Goodheart. The Global Prophetic Prayer Altar. The surest way to get timely resources to stabilize your life in every area. Your unmerited mercy or favor made available to us. We give you praise. We... Good morning, family, and welcome to the Global Prophetic Prayer Altar. It's a great day to be alive. The Lord has sustained you. It's yet another day on this altar. Just begin to worship your lover, your maker, your keeper, your sustainer. His presence means everything to you. Oh, Father, we worship you. We worship you. We worship you.
Somebody lift your voice and your heart in the nation and thank the Lord for his amazing presence. It's a great day to be alive across the nations. Lift your voice and your hands and your heart and thank the Lord for one more day. Ah, yeah, yeah. It's a great day to be alive. Every day is a gift. Every day is a miracle. Every day is a reminder of the mercies of the Lord over his people. We are a people who have been marvelously helped for three months and four days into the month of April. Our month of good news from the north, the south, the east, and the west. Shall we deliberately and intentionally bless our God for one more day again? It is our God who has been good, kind, loving, and gracious to us. The psalmist declared, I was glad when they said to me, to us, let us go to the house of the Lord. Let us go to the global prophetic prayer altar. Here we are, yet again, day four, month four, in the year 24. Look at the name, 04. Look at the numbers, 04, 04, 24. Something about the number four today, and four speaks of good news in terms of biblical numerology. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Ah, yeah, yeah. North, south, east, and west. What do you expect to hear in this month? I don't know about you, but nothing but good news. I know the environment may not seem to typify good news, but guess what? The Bible tells us when men declare there is a casting down, or when there is a casting down, uh, we declare as a saint there is a lifting up. Praise God. What do you expect? I expect a lifting up through the season and beyond. Lift your voice and thank the Lord for the month of April. 04, 04, Father, we just bless you. We are deliberate to return the praise, the glory, and the honor to you. Shall we thank the Lord for his mercies that are new every waking morning? Great is his faithfulness. Lamentations 3, 21, 22, 23. His mercies, they are new every waking morning. Great is his faithfulness. Ah, yeah, yeah. Thank the Lord for his mercies. We are not consumed because of the mercies of the Lord. If it was not the Lord who was on our side, guess what? Satan would have had you and I for breakfast, lunch, and supper. And unfortunately, the snacks in between the three cost me. But thanks be unto God, ah, yeah, yeah, who always causes us to triumph in Christ Jesus. 2 Corinthians 2.14 says, Now, not just yesterday, but now, Thanks be unto God, who always without fail causes us to triumph in Christ Jesus. Second Corinthians two fourteen. Shall we bless the Lord for victory at all times? Aya, ekrubateke. Now, now, now. The victory is now. The victory is today, right here on this altar. Shame is being turned for fame. Uh -uh. Zero to hero from the back to the front, from the bottom to the top, as we cry out to the God who alone hears prayers. Brikusa, the God who said, draw near to me and I will draw near to you. James 4 verse 8, we are drawing near today deliberately and in Know that it's a God who hears prayers. Lift your voice, a Lord. Here I am. Do with me as you please on this holy altar. Pass me not by. In the day of his visitation, may you not be unaware, may you not be insensitive or unaware of the mighty visitation of God in the day of his visitation. Lord, we are thanking you. Shall we bless the Lord yet again? We are numbered with the living, not the dead. Ha, let those who are alive celebrate Jesus. Oh, come on, open your mouth. We're talking about the living God, the thrice holy God. He is deserving of your praise, my praise across the nations. Don't placate him. Ah, 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 ah. To cross Katanga. Brigata, 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 Brigata. Logo the don't celebrate him. Don't tolerate. Celebrate. 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 Somebody celebrate. I celebrate Jesus. Wow. I celebrate the king. Makoteke. Oh, Barossa. We're still in the week. We remember the resurrection power of Jesus across the nations. The tomb is empty. Why seek the living among the dead? The angel said. Father, we just thank you. We celebrate you. We honor you today. Ayataba. Father, thank you. Wow. Call about ticket. We just give you praise. We just give you praise. We just give you praise. 
in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Aren't you glad to be alive? Well, it's a great day to be alive. Every day is a miracle. Every day is a reminder of the mercies and of the goodness of our God. Uh, uh, April 1, I believe, I was led to just ask us throughout this month, I have to get on that myself, throughout this month, we should make extra spirited efforts to document as much as we can, whether on the note, uh, physical or, or, or old notepad, or you want to choose on your device, uh, your, your phones, whatever it is, uh, let's attempt this month to document uh, the many good things we see the Lord doing in our lives. And there are no big or small things, right? It just helps us on a day-to-day -day basis um, to be more thankful. So have a diary uh, in this season, this month of April, as you document the many good news that God is bringing your way. As you do so, it also heightens your expectancy that of a truth daily, he will continue to load you and to load me with his divine benefits. That's what the psalmist says. He daily loads us with his benefits. Praise the Lord, somebody. Hallelujah. Now, I want to take a praise break as I challenge you. If you haven't already, you should have already. It should be customary now. It should be what we do when we get on to sign on to connect other people across the nations, right? Uh, we are live on Facebook, Apostle Goodheart. Um, please, if you are there or you can go there, um, endeavor to share on Facebook with your, to your friends and family on Facebook. And uh, at least copy a link, put on your status, your timeline on Facebook. Very worthy thing, of course, you can do. And also, you can also go to your groups you belong to on Facebook and share uh, to those groups you belong to. We're also live on IG, Instagram. I believe it is Chris, Chris McClare. Uh, again, do the need for share. Again, you can see how to share on Instagram. Share uh, with your contacts on Instagram. Copy a link, put on your story. Um, your status on Instagram, you've done well. You're being an ambassador of Christ and a worthy ambassador of the GPPA. You don't know who it is. This link will just reach out today. I'll be so super blessed. I'll be grateful to you being a messenger of good. You remember this year, this month, uh, the key or one of the keys to receive good news is to sow good news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's be more deliberate at sharing this link uh, consistently uh, before GPPA, during GPPA, just do that. It's that simple, but you're sowing a seed in somebody's life. We're also live on YouTube, and our channel is uh, GPPA TV, uh, which is an acronym for Global Prophetic Prayer Altar and TV. So GPPA TV is the channel on uh, is the, is the is the channel on YouTube. Please go there. You will enjoy the clarity, uh, the crisp, the cleanness, and the sound. Uh, but beyond enjoying it right now, let somebody else enjoy it by copying a link. Uh, go to your WhatsApp and. Uh, Drop that on your WhatsApp contact list. Uh, put it on your status, your story, um, as the case may be. And uh, if you have any broadcast list on, on WhatsApp, again, share with your friends uh, very, very quickly. And then good news, you can also connect to this altar of fire on our 247 online radio station, otherwise known as Roger Radio, but you can launch your web browser as www.radio first. So radio.rogic all right so radio first radio.rogic.org now roger is not r-o-g-i-c it sounds that way but really it's r-h-o-g-i-c otherwise you miss getting there all right roger is acronym for revival house of glory international church easier way to remember that roger all right so radio.rogic.org boom 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 you can enjoy uh, amazing broadcast of great teachings uh, very insightful, very hard provoking, very life transforming. Uh, any day of the any day of the week, any hour of the of the day, um, and also select worship. Again, uh, our mandate and our vision by God's grace to attempt to create an atmosphere of heaven and earth around you any time of the day. No news bothering you about this. The mountain is coming. Who's happening? CNN, Fox News. Oh no, no, just worship at the word. Intense. Every moment of it. But right now we're live uh, on that uh, Roger Radio, uh, Good News Nation Nigeria. We are also live on our terrestrial radio stations. I think this is this is really, if my man, one of the jokers of GPPA. Uh, but I've never seen this done anywhere in the world. This is what God put in my heart to do years ago. Uh, I'm 27 stations and people are in Kano, Bauchi, Gombe, Yola, Joss, Abuja, Port Harcourt, Benin City, Oshobo, Oshun State, Ilori, Kwara, uh, uh, Mina, um, Aba Abia Owere Asaba Portaka 27 stations. This is the glory of the Lord, and it's not it's not free. 
top dollar or top naira at time paid. This is King Jesus. Huh? He owns the land, the earth, and the seas. The Bible declares in Psalm 24, verse 1, that the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, and they that dwell therein. So this is King Jesus taking over the airwaves and the landmass everywhere in the world. Shall we lift our voice and thank God for today? Wow. Thank him for this month in particular. Uh, Monday was explosive as we cross into a new month with our global communion service. I mean, such a profound theme the Lord gave us for this season, prophetic word. The Lord gave us the roadmap to get there. Uh, Tuesday was exciting. And uh, as we dealt with speaking blessings regarding this month of April, because it's good news. And Wednesday, yesterday was just bah, uh, 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 off the chain. I mean, the Lord just took me on a different redirection of what I had in mind, but that's what it is. But yesterday was very intense. I mean, even after GP, I could still feel the tingling sensation of what? <laughs> the anointing. It is the anointing that breaks you. Now we're here uh, on the fourth day of this week. Oh boy, fourth day of this week. Uh, the fourth day of this week, new week, new month, and the fourth month, and the 24th year. Let's lift our voice and thank God for good news. Ah, yeah, yeah. Good news cannot escape you today. Ah, la ba dege brege de. Bara gada. O four, o four, twenty four. Breku zevaro. Somebody said, good news will not escape me. It will not elude me today. Ah, epranoka. Kalondos nente kribato ko brege brege da. Le brege dege, le brege dege, le brege dege, le brege dege. Father, we thank you. Oh boy. Akabara Patessa Segatelegadegade. Bratu Kama. My God. Legabega Brega Bregade. Somebody grateful. Somebody thankful. Leko Tamana Gazaga Gagadaga Brugu Brega 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 Shambam Ban Dagagadagadagadaga Brega 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 Lord, we just give you praise in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We have prayed. Amen and Amen. Acts 10:38. We take our cue from there. Hallelujah. Remember, if you remember carefully, if you were here on the day one of uh, Monday, of course, I, I try to make you understand that what is, listen carefully, what is good, all right, as far as God is concerned, is not always necessarily considered as good from your human perspective, all right? Track with me. It's very important because if we don't understand this, uh, we'll only see good from the limited position of the flesh, the fallen mind and mind. All right, let me say it again. What is good as far as reference point is God and reference point is eternity may not be perceived to me as being good, all right? And I'll explain. And what is good to me in terms of my natural circumstance and the best I know may not necessarily be good from the perspective of God. All right, listen carefully. Our reference point is not this world. All right, Bible says that though we are in the world, we are not of the world system. All right, the Bible does say again, in Philippians 3 verse 12, I believe it is, that we are heavenly citizens. So our reference point as God's children is not this world. It's true, sir. It's not this world. Yeah. Uh, it's heaven. All right. So when God says, I am bringing good news your way, all right, you may quickly assume that all the good news is bringing your way is what you think. In our limited understanding, good news is breakthrough. Probably is. Break for probably is your wife, your husband, your children, healing miracles probably is all right. But I want to bring another perspective. All right, now in my mind, when the door is open for me, it's good news, right? It probably is logically, yeah. But you see, hi, yeah, yeah. From heaven's perspective, based on God's plan and program for my life, listen carefully. There are some open doors that are listen satanically inspired, demonic, the evil, right? It's not every open door that is a God-inspired open door. Some open doors, open doors, open doors are satanic traps that lead to hell and destruction. All right. So therefore, for those kind of doors, when God graciously and mercifully slams that door for me, I may not understand it. And I begin to cry. I, I tell myself, oh God, you don't care. 
is bad news. Oh God, the door closed. I got sacked. I got retrenched. The girl I was going to marry gave me 11 inch nail. The man who I was about to marry said, get out. I'm not marrying again. You know, from the human perspective, which is very limited. Yeah. It looks like bad news. All hell is, is being, is, 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 is being whatever it is. Yeah. But from heavenly perspective, that shut door is good news. You get it? So I want you to, to expand your thinking in this season. It's important. Yeah. But I want to share with us today one good news we all know is good news. All right. What is that? It relates to your health and your well-being. Listen carefully, beloved. God does not only want you well and whole, right? He has also in turn made adequate provision for your healing and your well-being. All right. Before we go to the accent 38, I want you to just believe this scripture. 3 John 2, I will that you prosper and be in health. All right. Even as your soul prosper. Just believe God's scripture and begin to thank God for good health and well-being. All right, go ahead. Let's begin with Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Father, thank you for good health and well-being. May we never have to lose our health to value and appreciate good health. Go ahead and thank God. I've said over and over again, health is wealth. Wow. Akapa. Lord, I'm thanking you for good health, for a sound mind. Somebody thanking the Lord for good health. Eka brakata. Brakata. I will not need to lose my health to value it. A kabarata, brekateke bregate, lego baros kataka, bregata. Good news includes your health. A paronte. If there is anybody at all in the nation of the world laboring under any kind of ill health and challenge, believe the Lord on this day of good news, this month of good news, and this year of good news 24. Good news is coming away. 04, 04, ayaya, aya, 24. Lega dega dega de, dega dega de. Oh my God. Bola katakapa. Father, we bless you for good health and a sound mind. You said in 3 John 2, you would that we prosper and be in health even as our soul prospereth. We are grateful to our Father in heaven. Somebody blessing the Lord. My God. It's my day to walk in victory. To walk in strength and to walk in health. Let us speak to your body right now. Let's prophesy to our body. Body, you are whole. Wow. Body, you are stronger. Body, you are quickened. Body, you are energized. Wow. I give you no room for sickness and disease and infirmity. My body is a temple of the Holy Ghost. First Corinthians 6 20, 19 and 20. You are bought with a price. You're to glorify God with a sound body and a sound mind because your body is a temple of the Holy Ghost. First Corinthians 6, verse 20. Oh, decree and declare, my body is a temple of the Holy Ghost. Wow. Uh, you, that means you warehouse the Holy Ghost. Your body is a temple of the Holy Ghost. Well, no sickness, no disease. Decree and declare prophetically, audaciously, my sick days, they are over. Aya. Who can say that? The word says that. Aka, my sickness days, they are over. Briata, 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 briata. I welcome myself to days of health. Wow. Days of strength and days of victory. Days of vigor. Days of vitality. I am bought with the prize. I belong to Jesus. Somebody declaring. Your health package, according to scripture, buklanita, pregasekate. What is too big for your mouth to declare? Your hand will not carry. Declare God's word. I am healed by the stripes of Jesus Christ. First Peter 1 24. I am healed by the stripes 2 24. I'm healed by the stripes of Jesus Christ. I am the healed of the Lord, not the sick, not the infirm. Baroska tekete. I am the healed. No sickness around my household. By the stripes of Jesus Christ, we are healed. First Peter 2.24. Proclaim it, declare it. Let's stay there. First Peter 2.24. This is God's word over your life. I am healed by the stripes of Jesus Christ. He paid the full price. 39 stripes upon his back for my healing. 
Bako Praga Sekete, Braka Toka Prep, one for every major disease in the world, known and unknown. <laughs> he took it all, he paid for it all. He fully paid for it. Aka. So we must fully receive what he paid for. Brekata, Brekata, first Peter 224, but who his own self bear our sins in his own body. So he dealt with the sin and the sickness matter at the same time. Sin and sickness was dealt with at the same time all in the package of redemption aha who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree that we being dead to sins all right should live unto righteousness by whose stripes ah yeah yeah now listen carefully not you are going to be healed uh -uh. not that you are healed no the beauty is you were healed what man of god i feel pain my head is pounded. Listen, a symptom as far as redemption is concerned, you and I have been healed when 2000 years ago. So, what we're to do, what we're to receive what belongs to us, what by faith. So, the price that grace paid for your healing and well being, you must use the hand of faith to collect it. No faith, no collection system. So, uh, yeah, we're saved by grace through faith. All right, so faith. Is the hand that receives what grace has paid for. Lift your voice. I believe I receive. My God. My days of sickness, they are over. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody shout a big amen. 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 Acts 10 38. We take our cue there and we identify that healing and health is certainly good as far as God is concerned, all right? From the reference point of heaven and eternity, health is good. He says, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, my God, who went about doing good, all right? Doing what? Doing good is good news, though. Good doing good. What is the good side, man? Listen, doing good, right? And the healing all, my God, that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. I, I, I say when I teach from here sometimes that in this scripture, the Trinity, the three in one God, God the Father, God the Word, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, three of them here were very engaged actively. What? To bring about healing your way. That means this healing thing is important to God. It is. That's why he said in 3 John 2, I desire. He said, prayer, I desire. I wish above all that you don't only prosper, but you be in health. So your healing is very, very, very uppermost in the heart of God. Yeah. So you say now, so God anointed. So the Father anointed Jesus, all right, with what? With the Holy Ghost. And he went about doing good. And part of his good, do, good, good deeds is he was healing all the sick. What's the point, sir? Healing is part of the good news that you're receiving already. Wow. <laughs> Why? The package is paid for fully. Can you lift your hand once again? Now you know it belongs to you. Receive it now. Wow. Kaparata. Now receive it. If anybody will stop you, it will be the devil. But you will resist him steadfastly in the faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Legade, bigger bear, bigger bear, first Peter five, seven, and eight. Egebrega, brega, 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 dega, brega, brega, dega, brega, dega. Let's resist the enemy. Baraga, daga, daga, da. He's the enemy of our faith. We'll resist him. Bam, bam, dega, 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 brega, dega. Remember, he was the one that caused sickness and disease. He was one that oppressed, is the oppressor. Jesus, the healer. The Father God, the anointer, the Holy Ghost, the anointed, and Satan, the oppressor. We refuse. As we say in Nigeria, we no go grieve for Satan. <laughs> we no go grieve. I no go grieve. We will not agree. Baran, Tokopa, seven, eight, and nine. Ah, can you stand firm and resist with faith by faith? In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and a Beloved, the enemy is not a gentle man. He's rough. Now let's look at this scripture. 1 Peter 5, 7. Casting all your care. All right. The journey begins by you and I just laying our burdens 
our cares, our concerns, where? At the feet of Jesus. When you cast your care upon Jesus, you shouldn't be burdened with the care anymore. So whatever it is, was a burden as you join this altar today. Whatever it is, the concern of how to feed your family, your children, how to pay the school fees of your children. School is about to start after Easter holidays um, and how to just uh, do the needful as a responsible father and mother that you are, all right? Of course, the economy has been quite challenging all over the world, by the way, yeah? And there's certain things we want to do as parents. We, we have our fair share of challenges, but guess what? Uh, we must be grateful and thankful, but know that Satan is the one that we are to resist. So we, let's start by casting our care. Now, 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 now. What, you see, what, when you do this, guess what? Uh, you, you boss pressure. Uh, yeah, yeah. You, you don't know to the extent you, you break the, 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 the potential to find yourself going through high blood pressure because you're, you're worrying. You're worrying. Why worry when you can pray? All right, I know you you took a, a hard hit emotionally, mentally, financially, relationally, but we have God and we're alive. We're still alive, still in the game of life. It's not yet over, or over yet. This is not your the last chapter of your, your life. Praise God. Maybe act one, scene two, but there's still the many, many more frames in the movie. And we're told in scripture, <laughs> we are the star of our story and the star of every story never dies uh, i've never seen real well written action-packed movies that the star died something is not right with the script the star may take all the beating all the bashing all the whatever it is maybe maybe there was this coming a part two of the movie but the star will still resurrect in part two what am i saying <laughs> you are the star of your movie and you're not about to give up no no now thanks be unto god who always that means you're going to triumph can we find the lord that this is going to turn around for a testimony i don't know what test you're going for can you cast your cares i know you're 42 going on 43 you're wondering will i ever get married when will i marry when will i have my own children listen god is mindful of you that's why he picked this word of knowledge for you right where you are lift your voice and say, oh god is mindful of me a burden shared is a burden half solved. Can you cast your cares upon Jesus? Uh, cast not some of it. We tend to cast some, the seemingly big ones, and we try to keep the little. No, cast all your care. The little ones, the big ones, the mid ones, cast all. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus, today we come humbly to cast all of our cares at your feet. The concern of what to eat, what to wear, what to drive, where to live. Ah, yeah, yeah. Or how to pay the school fees, how to pay for our transportation. Lord, we cast the care upon you. How to get a job. Lord, I cast every care upon you. I will not let these things regulate my praise. Ah, yeah. I will not let them regulate my worship. You are deserving of my worship. What you've done in my life is more than enough for me to give you praise all the days of my life. You fought my many battles, kept me on my feet in spite of devil's demons. I give you praise. You've been my battle axe. Truly, you are the lion of the tribe of Judah, the mighty man of war. Lord, we make our boast in you. You never lost a battle. You not lose this one in our life. Thank you, Lord, for a turnaround. As you bless him, uh, he's stepping into your scene. Akabagaba, eh, brigate, brigate, and taking over your battle. Guess what? This is what praise does. Psalm 22 verse 3 says, God inhabits the praise of his people. When you praise him like this, even through pain and difficulty, guess what? He steps into your matter. Just like in Acts 16, 25, at midnight hour, Paul and Silas in jail, in a very smelly jail where you, you do your poop with your feces in the same place you eat, rotten jail. But somehow or the other, they dare to praise God in the midst of difficulty. Can somebody dare to praise God in the midst of what looks like drought in your life? Loneliness is trying to kick, trying to wound you i mean difficult times health is acting funny can you say for a minute lord i don't know what i'm going through but i dare to praise you these two fellas they began to praise began to pray 
there was oh shakata there was a mighty earthquake in that prison yard ultimately god sent an angel to liberate them what somebody praise the lord liberty is coming now and baga i see the chains that have kept you bound break 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 let those chains break those chains in your mind some of them are more mental than they are real somebody who has been going through a mental health matter you can't even explain what you're going through but the enemy has been barraging your mind will i end like this as they say in nigerian palace book now so i go be no <laughs> the god we serve is a god of turnarounds he does all things well and leave nothing on top don't try to manage god will intervene today believe god ah yeah yeah you've been trying to manage i will live this way and no sir no sir no sir he paid the full price today by faith let's take the full price p-r-i-z-e prize the benefit of the price paid Kobara, Koba. pray in the holy ghost something is happening Praying the Holy Ghost, praying the Holy Ghost, praying the Holy Ghost. Lord, I cast every care upon him. GPA family will cast every care upon him. I refuse to be anxious for anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, I make my request known unto God. Philippians 4, 4 to 6. Be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. I make my request known unto God. Ah, yeah. Philippians 4, verse 6. Can you cast that care? Can you cast that care? Cast it at the feet of Jesus. Hallelujah. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing, oh, GP family, but in everything, not something. Some somebody thank you okay every care cast upon the lord every care every care not some not few not many not most every care oh hallelujah hallelujah father will give you thanks give him thanks I, I hear the sound of victory in the heavens wow my god he's fighting your battles he's arising on your behalf break a second attack attack Oh, breaker, breaker, break yokes, break gates and break chains. As you broke the gate in that day when Paul and Silas uh, uh, praised you. In Acts 16, 25, break it at the midnight hour. Lord, thank you for liberty and emancipation. Wow. Koparate. Give him praise, give him praise. My God, wow. I hear, oh, Labo Zegate. I hear explode. I hear explode. I don't know what that is, but somebody is coming out. Akaba, you are exploded. You've been caged and contained for too long. But I see that what had tried to contain you just exploded. Uh, you find increasing ease and liberty as you transact. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Favor will begin to just rest along your way. You just find out people are just responding to you favorably. What? Explosion. Aka. That, oh, yeah. The cage is broken. Wow. That's what happened to Paul and Silas. Their cage had to literally break. I forgot to liberty. Their chains break. Cage break, burden break. Father, thank you. We just give you praise, Kalabala, for liberty, liberty, liberty. In the name of Jesus Christ. Acts 16 26. And suddenly, this will be somebody's story and somebody's testimony. And suddenly, there was a great earthquake so that the foundations of the prison were shaken. <laughs> And immediately, ah, yeah, may this day be your day of immediately, huh? Immediately, all the doors, including yours and my own door, what were open. Say amen, amen. Financial doors, marital doors, economic doors, mental doors, eh? emotional doors, psychological doors, whatever doors, academic doors. Guess what? They are what open. Say effata, 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 effata. You hear good news today that the doors open for you. Ah, yeah. I see a, a kaba. I, I see literally a letter with a stamp on it, and there's something contained on the inside. Good news, whether it's a visa, whether it's a promotion, whether it's your wedding certificate, but something that envelope, and I see a stamp. Good news. Ah, yeah. Can you receive good news now? Stretch forth your hands and say, Lord, I receive, I believe, I receive good news in this day of good news, and this month of good news, and this year 
of good news. Break forth is good news. Uh, so the year is break forth. It's good news. Uh, the month is super. Break forth. And, news. and then the day is good news. <laughs> oh, four. Oh, four. 24. You can't. You, this cannot escape you. Lord, I received my good news today. My mail is delivered in my email. I'm bag a snail mail, email, what up, mail, telegram, telegram. It's coming your way. Say good news. It's coming. I believe what I'm saying. Good news. Today, there must be a, a, a sign of the good news. Father, show us a token for good today that we are in the season of good news. Ah, yeah. 04, 04, 24. A token for good for somebody. Lord, we thank you. Lord, I give you praise. What? I give praise. I don't know what it is, but you, 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 ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Kana Moskata. A token for good. A token for good. That means you hear news that will just be a foretaste of the big news that is following that small news. Uh, praise God. Wow. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, we give you praise. All right. We're still in First Peter 5, where verse 7, cast all your care upon him, for he cares for you. Now let's go to verse 8. Be sober. Be sober. Be vigilant, oh boy, because hmm, your adversary, the devil, is a roaring lion. Not a lion, just a roaring lion. He roars to intimidate people. All right? Walk it about seeking whom you may devour. Now, this is our prayer point. Whom resist? Steadfast. No, nine. Whom resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions. So what you're going through is very common to human nature. Uh, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished or experienced in your brethren that are in the world. You see, the issue is that many times or sometimes we tend to allow our challenges seem un uncommon or super or extraordinary. But this scripture is said, wait a minute, it's not just peculiar to you alone. Somebody somewhere in the world is going through exactly what you're going through and somebody else is going through more. Praise God. So we must, we must as I say, we must commonize our many pressures. You know, laugh at it. And <laughs> just laugh at it. You know, when you commonize what the enemy is trying to make you feel bad over, he said, oh, so you know how it works. Just leave me alone. Yep. So we want to resist by faith. Wow. I want you to be very practical now. All right. Think about a particular area of your life. Today we're dealing with health. Um, it could be any other area for you where you are challenged. This struggle, marital delay, finances, your mental well-being. You're in church, but, you know, your mind is just acting up. Um, whatever it is, I want you to have that in your heart as a focus of target, and we're going to stand to resist not just resist casually, but resist what steadfast in the faith. Remember, the weapon we use is faith, Ephesians 6, I believe, verse 16. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith we're able to quench. Quench, quench every fiery dart of the enemy. So, faith shield is a very powerful weapon. We deflect and quench the fiery dart of the enemy. So, combine those two scriptures, Ephesians 6, 16 and First uh, Peter 5, verse 9, as we declare thus. Make this declaration with me and believe it with all of your heart because it is so. Declare me, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I believe that you have gone ahead of me to make a way where there seems not to be a way. Lord Jesus, take me by the hand. Take me from where I am to the place in destiny you ordained for me to arrive at. Lord Jesus, I now stand in faith based on your promises, based on your word, and based on the many prophecies that have gone ahead of me. I stand to resist the enemy of my soul, the enemy of my destiny, Satan, my adversary. I resist you, not by my power, but by the blood sacrifice of Jesus. 
I resist you. In the name of Jesus, stop your maneuvers. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, by the blood, stop your manipulations. Now, in the name of the Lord, I declare and declare every satanic fetter chain is now broken by the power that is in the blood. In the name of Jesus Christ, I announce my freedom, my liberty from every captivity, every snare is now broken in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now lift your voice and thank God for liberty today. Wow, I am free. <laughs> Somebody has escaped Akabarakata as a snare of a fowler. Kemono Gruskasa. Somebody's soul is escaped. Bragada, Bragada, Bragada. Somebody's soul is escaped. Psalm 124, verse 7. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers. Ah, yeah, yeah. The snare is broken and we are escaped. Collectively, as a family of faith, GPPA, we are escaped. Escape poverty and lack and weakness and sickness, disease and failure and all kinds of intimidation of hell. We are escaped. Hallelujah. Decree and declare Psalm 124 in faith and by faith, I am escaped. Brigata, 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 Brigata. My husband, my wife, we are escaped. My family, we are escaped. My children, we have escaped. Briata, the works of my hand, you have escaped. Briata, my case is different. Brigatoka, why the snare is broken and I have escaped. Brita dam, Brugosa, Akaba, Brigadega, 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 but the snare is really broken. Eperando Gaba, Father, we thank you. Wow. Give him praise now. Let's get our communion element in the nations. Lord, we give you praise. Wow. King of glory, I give you praise. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Come, bam, 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 de We escape, we escape, we escape. Oh, I'm escaped. Can you stand the Lord for 30 seconds and declare and declare your faith? I have escaped. You know what it is. The Lord delivered you from. I am escaped. Say it. Mean what you say. Say what you mean. I have escaped. I have escaped. I have escaped. I come back. I have escaped being small. Uh -uh, uh -uh. So you shall not be small. I've escaped being contained. Mm -mm. I will not be contained anymore. I've escaped protracted singleness or singlehood, as the case may be. I've escaped Briata, Briata, being a wife and a husband, yet to have my own child. I've escaped delays and denials. I've escaped uh, stunted growth uh, spiritually. I've escaped being on a job, no lifting, no promotion, years on end. I've escaped. Upper every ceiling, the enemy tried to put over me. I've escaped in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Now, anyone who is burdened with any kind of sickness, disease, before we go to the communion table, and I would engage Exodus 22, 25, 26, um, I want to pray and speak a word over you. I don't want, I don't want anyone to miss uh, uh, this healing pool, this good news. I uh, said, so how God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Holy Ghost of power. What about doing good and healing? Oh, so part of the good news we are, we are hearing already this month, and this is a, is a good news, and we're made whole. Now, will you just place your hand, any part of your body where you sense difficulty, concern? Uh, if there's no specific place, place on your head or on your your your, your loins, your womb, either of them, head, loins, as a point of contact for your whole body. As I speak a word of prayer in faith, I want to engage Psalm 107, verse 20. He sent his word. His word sent, heal them and deliver them. Father, I, I, I pray, I beseech you, Abba, Father, wow. In your mercy and mercy to reach out to my brothers and my sisters across the nation, especially those who are going through any challenge regarding their health, physically, mentally, emotionally, and even financially. Father, reach out to them at the very point of their need. Let your good hand that is released be strong and mighty, expunging disease and infirmity. Now, sit and hold your operations to a halt by the blood of the Lamb. Stop your maneuverings now over these bodies. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord Jesus Christ, the head of the church, rebuke you in the name of the Lord. Now, every cell, every tissue, every organ of that body, hear the word of the Lord. Be made whole. Be quickened. Be energized. Now, pain be gone. You are cursed from the root in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, thank the Lord. And thank the Lord and thank the Lord. Exodus 23, 25, 26. Again, we engage healing in the place of the communion table. Exodus 23, 25, 26. Quickly, Miriam. 
and get your communion element ready. Lift them up before the Lord. Our time is fast spent. He says, they that serve the Lord their God, the Lord will bless your bread and water. He will take from you sickness and disease away from your midst. Now, you're here not born again, unsure of your eternal well-being. Listen carefully. Uh, you are not safe in this world until you are saved. And you can only be saved by embracing the Lordship of Jesus Christ. Please, don't play with your eternal well-being. Our life and times here is so long, so short. 100 years, one day may seem like long life, but in the light of eternity, it's not even a drop of water in the ocean. So where you are, pray with me. Pray with me. Rededicate your life to the Lord. Start afresh. Say yes to him. Let's all pray together. Declare me, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Wow. I give you praise and thanks for the gift of life. Now I beseech you, Lord, for the precious gift of eternal life. Forgive me all of my sins. Save my soul from death, doom, gloom, destruction. With my heart, I believe unto righteousness. With my mouth, I confess unto salvation. I am blood washed, blood bought, child of the living God. In the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, I sign up partake of this blessed miracle meal of your broken body and shed blood. I receive by faith the many blessings contained in the miracle meal, including of health and strength. In Jesus' name, amen. Lord, we sanctify this element in the nations. We honor you, Jesus. Holy Spirit, we honor you. Abba Father, we honor you. In Jesus' name, amen. Please break and eat in honor of Jesus. Eat in faith and eat with thanksgiving. It's a miracle meal. Thank you, Lord. Lift your cups very quickly. Thank the Lord. I have escaped. I have escaped. Healed and delivered. Saved to the uttermost. Wow. Father, we toast to a new day and a new season over our lives. The bands of wickedness broken now. We are liberated and emancipated. We embrace the good news. Heaven is broadcasting our way. North, south, east, and west, roundabout, good news. We toast to a new day and a new season. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the sweet Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Please drink. God is a good God, so. Shortly, we'll jump to our devotion. Our time is fast spent. But I want to invite as many who pray this prayer sincerely moments ago now. To please send me three information your name your email address telephone number uh send that to my email address apostle good at gmail.com your name your email and telephone number three things uh you can send to my email address and that is apostle goodheart at gmail.com please also send your testimonies uh on the same or through the same email address don't hide your testimony god is doing great things in our lives let's honor him by sharing it uh, and sowing that seed uh, for others to also receive a harvest of our testimonies in their own lives. Glory to God. Uh, and also can use our WhatsApp, if you'd please, to go that, through that route, plus 234-805-223-4444, um, to send your name, your email, and telephone number. Uh, either of them is, is, is wonderful. My email address or the, or the WhatsApp, uh, plus 234-805-223-4444. Uh, do the needful. You can either share a testimony uh, on those platforms, the WhatsApp or the email address. Uh, if you ever require um, to call us um, to hear a voice or for counseling, uh, for prayer needs, or perhaps uh, some, some questions, inquiries across the nations, please take down this number. This number is for voice calls, plus 234-704-922-2234, plus 234-704. 922 uh, that will get to us as you call somebody will be at hand to serve you i want to encourage you as i, I will do from time to time uh to continue to find it in your heart to pour back to this altar is a good ground by the way even though i say so myself um god is using this platform to bless people multitudes across the nations two things happen here uh, amongst many other things number one evangelism uh, many give their lives to Christ on this altar, but surprisingly to discipleship, you'll be surprised because God uses prayer to disciple the saints. It's true. Uh, if you've joined this altar two, three months, you will admit your personal prayer altar has improved. You, you, you enjoy prayer. You pray better on your own. You know. So God uses prayer to disciple believers. Very important. So there is evangelism, 
People are getting born again across the nation, but they're also being discipled as we pray and teach at the same time. So you're sowing to that in the lives of people, both evangelism and discipleship. So on the screen uh, are ways and means to serve the Lord with your givings, your gift of love. Uh, give big, give large uh, to the Lord. You're in Nigeria. You can give through either our Guaranteed Trust Bank or Zenit Bank on the screen. Guaranteed Trust Bank is 0215-043376. Once again, Guaranteed Trust Bank, uh, 0215-043376. And if you are in USA, you can give through Zelle uh, platform. And our email is homfinance at gmail.com. Home with an M, not home with an N. All right. So H-O-R-M homefinance at gmail.com. That is Zell. You're in Canada. Uh, you can give through uh, um, the, the Interact and the email of choice link to our account is rogiccanada at gmail.com. Uh, two C's, rogiccanada at gmail.com. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. And thank you for co-laboring with me. Thank you for being heroes and hers that continue to uphold my hands and the ha hands of the team that serve with me and serve you on this altar with your prayers, but with your gift also. Please um, don't hesitate uh, to make praying for me, my wife, my family, but also my co-laborers, uh, a part of your regular prayers. Uh, the work we do clearly is not uh, child's play. Uh, it is really a work that requires um, God. And there's no other way to do it but God. Um, the other way, this is six years gone on seven years every day, literally of the week. I've done this at uh, least most times than not. Uh, it's got to be God, praise God. So, your prayers, uh, I covet as Apostle Paul would say, pray for me. I, I, like I said, it's not weakness to ask for prayer, it is wisdom for a man of God to ask for prayer because the work we're called to do it's, it's quite the realm of the spirit is brutal and aggressive. Uh, so, so it takes God to navigate. And I'm thankful for family like you across nations who know, at least have an idea, what it takes to be me, to serve you the way I do. Uh, so please, what am I saying? Pray for me and pray for my family. Uh, pray for our ministry team to serve you better and more efficaciously and more effectively uh, in the passage of time. We will take time to go into our devotion. The theme today is you are Christ's ambassador. But before we go there, I want to invite you on a few very critical and important meetings this weekend that will bless you. Uh, whether you're able to come on site for those who are in Abuja domicile here, please uh, leave the Facebook, Instagram, come to church. It will bless you. Saturday is our monthly, it's monthly, quite a major meeting every month. Our monthly breakthrough and miracle service. We spend time to really invest in prayer in that month. And of course, we'll trust the Lord um, to just pour to the people and bless the people. Um, so this Saturday is the Saturday of the month. All right. The time is 8 a.m. Come early, bright and early, 8 a.m. on the dot, be in church. Um, connect virtually across the nations. We'll stream um, in our our centers in Portakot, Oweri, and uh, Makodi on Saturday. And Sunday will be an amazing service, uh, what we call our healing and restoration uh, communion service of the month. Uh, very, very special. Again, we'll trust a lot that he will stay at the pool of healings and miracles on Sunday morning from 8 o'clock. And then for our global family across the nations, once in a month. Uh, recently, uh, we have what is called the Global Prophetic Blessing online service. Just for is in house. In house means you're part of a GPP family. You're part of Hom. Uh, you're part of a Rogic. Whether you are in Abuja or you are here and you're now in diaspora, is the enlarged family of H O R M. All right. Uh, you could be in another church and still uh, consider me to be uh, a mentor. Uh, whatever it is, it's a larger family. It will be on Zoom. And uh, we use uh, the usual Zoom uh, platform, media. Give us that Zoom platform um, that we use to pray for our home watches to connect on Saturday, 7 p.m. West African time. So please, Zoom family, let's get together. It's a family meeting. Talk together, pray, uh, pray for each other. And just, just, it's, just, it's more bonding and invitation. Very, very exciting. I've enjoyed the first two meetings and I'm looking forward to seeing you again on Zoom. When you join, join with your picture or join with your video or at least join with your picture. The whole idea is for us to connect the dots across the nations. Praise God. Uh, the Zoom ID is 881-8802-5062 and the passcode is 082094. For those who don't have a screen to see, especially those who are on radio, uh, Zoom meeting ID is 8802 5062 
and the code, the passcode is 082094. By the way, I'm sure you know already, but you need to have downloaded the Zoom app on your device to be able to use this. It won't make sense to you, except you have first and foremost downloaded the Zoom app. So the first thing is to download the Zoom app on your Android device, iOS, Apple device, and then you use the meeting ID and then the passcode that you can connect um, Saturday, 7 p.m. W.A.T. All right. It's been a superlative, exciting, wonderful, blessed day. I'm sure that you are as pumped up as I am. This is our go-to place daily to get, as it were, revived, refreshed, renewed, for the day and it, this is no like 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 none other else got us refreshed us your day is blessed for those who are stepping into a new day and for those who are about to lay their head to sleep uh in america north america uh have a refreshing night for those who are in other parts of the world who are in the middle of, of the day afternoon like asia and other part of the world uh a great day to you all whatever time it is uh you are blessed and the lord bless you marvelously and mightily in jesus name amen and amen Father, we take cover under the blood. We give you the praise and the glory to your name in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So we share the grace and quickly jump to our devotion. Uh, please stay with me and enjoy the devotion. Uh, it's all part of the GPPA for the day. Um, but let's go at the count of three. One, two, three, go. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely God's goodness and his mercy shall follow us. All the days of our lives, we will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever and ever and ever. Amen and amen. For the Lord is good and his mercies endureth forever. Amen and amen. Love you all and thank you for your time. I'm sure it's been well worth an invested time into your destiny and into God's plan for your life. Uh, let's get together at 12 noon, W80, for our lunch hour with Jesus on the same platform. And of course, uh, tomorrow, will be the grand finale of this week at least on the altar to the glory of the Lord. Our anchor text today is 2 Corinthians 5.20 NIV. I read, we are therefore Christ's ambassadors as though God were making his appeal through us. We implore you on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. Uh, two more references as we journey to finish the Bible, cover to cover in one year. First Kings 4 to 7, Psalm 95. As a child, Reggie White was raised by his mother to walk in the fear of the Lord. Very powerful. As he grew up, he continued to follow the Lord and ended up with a successful career in sports. He was one of the most dominant defensive linemen in the history of American football. In 1993, White also became the best paid defensive player in American football history. Interestingly, during his sports career, Reggie White was never seriously injured. Rather, he was a ferocious defensive player who struck terror into opposing teams with his strength, speed, and stamina. He was called the quote-unquote Minister of Defense when he played, largely because he was an ordained evangelical minister. Look at that. Standing at six feet, five inches tall and weighing 300 solid pounds. White was a force to be reckoned with on the field. But off the, but off the field, he was known as a gentle giant. He was very outspoken about his faith and preached to everyone he could, even preached to those he was beating on the field was known to one opposing lineman. Jesus is coming. I hope you're ready before proceeding to pound through them on his way to the quarterback. In his time, White spoke regularly at churches and often used post-game interviews as opportunities to proclaim Christ. He has been credited with the rise of Christianity in the American National Football League. What a joy. In his life and career, Reggie White constantly sought to represent Christ before men. Hear this. He sought to represent Christ constantly before men. May we have this testimony. As Christians, our primary call is to be ambassadors of Christ. Before an ambassador is appointed for any na nation, 
he goes through the higher scrutiny to ensure his character and conduct reflects the core values of his nation. As ambassadors of Christ, our lives must constantly reflect our heavenly citizenship. We should always be conscious that we represent the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. By words or by deed, our lives at all times should be proclaiming the gospel. Because the spirit of Christ is a missionary spirit. The desire to make the gospel known to all men should be burning in us. Not all of us can stand and preach in a church or go to a mission field, but all of us can play a vital role in God's work by using what talent he has given us to represent his kingdom. As gross darkness covers the earth, do not hide your light. Rather, be radical for Jesus. Proclaim your faith boldly. Let your light shine for men to see. However, to live a life of such conviction, we must be deeply impacted by the Holy Spirit. No one can be an effective witness without the help of the Holy Spirit. His number one mission on earth is, is on earth is soul winning. In Acts 2 41, when the Holy Ghost came on the day of Pentecost, 3,000 people were saved. Again, in Acts 4, verse 4, uh, the number of men were that were saved were 5,000. Then in Acts 5 14, multitudes of men and women were added to the church. Today, as we seek a deeper relationship with the Spirit, we will receive the grace to be effective ambassadors for Christ and greatly impact our world with the gospel. Wow, so refreshing. Let's pray together. Lord, please help us all to use every possible available means, including the gifts and talents you've given us to spread your word. As we go preaching your word, we thank you for overflowing our life with immeasurable blessings. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Winning quote before we sign up for my book, Word by 2 to 2. The word of God, sorry, when you apply the word of God, it will work for you anywhere and anytime. When you apply God's word, it will definitely work for you anywhere and anytime. It is here we sign out and draw the curtain. Thank you once again for such a time before the Lord. The Lord bless you, cause his face to shine upon you. His countenance to rest upon you. Love you big. My name is Goodhart. Don't forget, Jesus is still the Lord. Bye now. God is not as interested about using perfect people as he's interested as in using broken people oh he wants you to become perfect to grow up to the stature of christ into maturity but listen he doesn't wait for you to be perfect to use you in fact it's in the use of you that you become perfect he is not as much waiting to use perfect people as much as he's willing to use broken people who's a broken person a man or a woman who has come to the place of total dependence and reliance on God, on his mercy and his grace. Knowing that no matter what results come out of his life, the finger is pointed to God who is the doer. Have you ever struggled with mental health, depression, fear, marital pitfalls, physical health challenges, career challenges, indecision, other issues of life, or would you just like to strengthen your spirituality? Then join men and women across the globe, breaking the limits and soaring high on the global prophetic prayer altar with Apostle Goodhart Obi Ikweme. Even in these challenging times, every weekday from 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. Greenwich Median Time plus one and 12 noon to 1 p.m. Greenwich Median Time plus one. Available on internet radio at www.radio.rojic Dot org and on YouTube at GPPA TV, on Periscope at Goodhart O Equime, on Instagram at Apostle Goodhart, and on Facebook at Apostle Goodhart. The Global Prophetic Prayer Altar, the surest way to get timely resources to stabilize your life in every area. Your unmerited mercy or favor made available to us. We give you praise. We